welcome back to the Empty Larder, the musical theatre cooking show where we try not to make the worst pies in London. Today's musical is Les Miserables and we're going to be making brioche. We're supporting UK Black Lives Matter and the Theatre Support Fund. Down in the description below is a link you can follow to give to these causes. Now over to today's special guest. Hi, I'm Charlie Byrne and I play Cosette in the UK and international tour of Les Miserables. Time to meet today's bakers. Hello. Hello. We're Jess and Maddie. I'm from Swindon. Hi. Do, you, do, you need, do we need to introduce ourselves? Yes, you do. We are doing brioche. <laughs> we are making brioche buns. Yep. I look like a Victorian... I'm Joe. Woman. She's Katie. We've got two sets of double trouble today then. To make the spongy mixture, cream the yeast with the milk, then mix in the flour, leave to rinse. Yes, please don't rinse your brioche. Jean Valjean would not have stolen a soggy loaf. In a warm place. Friends, I need to dry both first. Do you mean we're not actually ready to do this? They can watch us dry the bowl. It's not most important like ingredient when it. baking is tea. Also, most important ingredient when narrating. <laughs> Everything just fell over. Do we still have the fire brigade on standby from the last episode? Well, it's we show everyone. Mm -hmm. Probably not the entire world, but just, just the camera. Just the camera. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything, Hi. <laughs> just a hi. Yes. We're making brioche. Brioche. For Les Miserables. Mm -hmm. Because it's French and because Jean Valjean stole some bread. Because he loves the bread. You know what the best thing about a bread joke is? It never goes stale. It's not disgusting, it's just flour. <laughs> and butter. Yeah. How much? 50. 50. Oh. And then sift it instead of oh. all. Sugar to make it sweet. Well, we didn't want the flour in it yet. Things not going great here. This is going well. Jess, Maddie, save us. Make a robot to help me. <laughs> You're going to make a robot to help you, aren't you? Yes. To help me on everything. Big, maybe not at school. Maybe that's when the robot can charge and learn new stuff. Don't, don't blow on your mixture either, because you know. Corona. Corona. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> you need to be on the camera as well, Maddie. Maddie's gone camera shy. I'm not doing that. Why not? Look at them not. And I'm trying to finish my drink here. I'll just chuck it in the bowl. Chuck it in. I need to lukewarm some milk. Just chuck it in. Wow. I had a jug. What wow. did I do with the jug? I'm crafting. You're crafting, eh? I'm crafting it into my little pool. Jay there. Don't worry, no one's locked in the attic. It's fine. Or is there? It's not that bad, is it? Well, my face, okay? My face is fine. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up in the same gym, so. I'll cover this up again. Or did it say, you... did it say not to put it in the same gym? No, I just have to put it in the same Oh. You just rub it. And then we cover it up and we let them rise again. Okay. Okay, don't mm -hmm. Right, while you're doing that, who's your favourite character and why? Hard oh, questions. Oh, it's hard. I don't know. I like all of them, but I think my favourite is Javert. Why? Why? Because I think, like, you know, he's got a lot of depth to him as a character, and I feel like he's not given enough credit for, like, You know, he's always misunderstood and he's just doing what he thinks is right. Are we supposed to be decorating this? Huh? Tell me. 
I mean, if you really want, we don't need it. It's just like bread. You don't decorate bread. <laughs> you don't decorate bread. You decorate bread with, with peanut butter, cheese, bacon, marmite, Nutella. All at once. Okay. So we're going to have a decorative brioche then. It's like porridge. I know, I was about to say, please sir, can we have some more? We're going to show the camera our amazing sponging mixture. Oh, sugar. No. Yeast. Ba-dum. <laughs> that was such a dad joke, that's horrendous. <laughs> Oh, Maddie's turned to meditation. Oh. Let me join. Hum. Which do you prefer, the film or the stage show? Okay, I'm sorry, but the stage show, like the entire way, because they had so much opportunity with this, the film to get it right, and they just they didn't, did they? Let's be honest. Like, sorry for fans of the film, but. I 100% agree. The waiting game begins. One, two, three, four, five, done. Not quite. It's been two minutes. Momentarily turning into a cow there. I just put it in there. Yeah, but is it going to work? If it does, I don't think it'll expand any more than. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll, we'll remove the shelf above if we have to. Right, it's in, so... 25 minutes, we'll have a look at 25 minutes. We've got one more question, which is... If you could bring back one of the dead characters in exchange for one of the surviving characters to die, who would you choose and why? I know who would I, I know who I would choose, and it would be the, like, one of the Tenardiers, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and who I'm... would you bring back? I really want to say Fontaine, but at the same time, like, I think I'd bring Javert back because I feel like... You really love Javert. If somebody just reached out, like, was able to reach out to him before his, like, conscious got to him so much, he'd be able to, like, live with himself. And I feel like he would have started to see the world in such a new light. And it's really sad that, you know... You say that, but out of everyone who died in the show, spoilers, everyone, um, he was the only one who wanted to die. Yeah, that is true. Now we're going to head back over to our special guest. So, Charlie, tell us, what did you enjoy most about being in Les Mis? The best part of being in Les Miserables is one day more, 100% for me. Cosette's in her tower, Maris is in his tower, you can't see either of them because they're doing loads of stuff behind stage. Um, Jean Valjean's in the middle, I almost forgot his name. And um, someone told me during tech that the stairs would move at some point and I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> and um, so Cosette does her costume change and then this really narrow stairs with this huge dress, you have to climb so quickly. And then the... Da, na, 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 happens and I was like oh no and the stairs just moved and I fell down the stairs and they had to do a show stop and it makes me laugh every single show and that's my that's my favorite part of being in Les Mis. I'd now like to introduce you to the amazing Brooke De La Rosa who has written a brilliant version of Alice in Wonderland so let's see some of the show. Hello, my name is Corinne Schaefer. And I'm Sachelle Beck. And we'd like to welcome you to Wonderland. Wonderland. Brooke DeRosa's Alice in Wonderland is a new, interactive, operatic musical experience that invites the audience to explore the childhood story we all know and love while inviting them to take an active part. 
Just like with the Choose Your Own Adventure books, the audience will choose for Alice which door to open, whether to eat or drink first, and which path to follow. Sitting right here with me, sitting right here, won't you please try? I advise to resize. So says I, the mad hatter. Hi, my name is Brooke DeRosa, and I'm the composer of Alice in Wonderland. I first got the idea for Alice in Wonderland because I was a fan of the books, and obviously, pretty much anything Alice in Wonderland I'd ever seen on TV, and I thought it would make a really wonderful musical show because they're so colorful and you can do so many interesting things with the story. What was really interesting to me was that the story was non-linear and that she encounters all these different creatures and animals and flowers and such, but alive it doesn't really move the plot forward. They're more like vignettes. So. That was really interesting to me, and that's why I created it with an element of audience participation, where the audience can actually select which way Alice goes, and then which fun creatures she encounters. Um, I'm very excited about it, and I hope you all like it as well. Thank you. So join the party, but just don't lose your head. And we're back in the kitchen. Damn boy! Right, so there it is in the oven. We've only we this is we've only just put it in the oven. You think, boy? Um. <laughs> <laughs> we put tin foil on it because it was starting to go brown, so we didn't want it to go brown burn. So we put tin foil on. It. Amazing idea, Maddie. Writing that one down. And voila! One brioche. That looks fab. We will do a little slicing video. That is beautiful. Amazing. Our bakers have been brilliant. That sounds hollow. All right, let's have a go at cutting this. Look at that. Do you want to try some? Yes. Yes, I do. This is Maddie and Jess's lame is brioche bun. Yes. I hope you like it. Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. You did? Yes. Did you like how it came out? Uh, yeah, very shiny. Very shiny. Yes. Yeah, I can gather. And we'll eat it. I can decorate it. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. 
We hope you loved it and we hope you had fun baking at home. Please don't forget to leave us a like and a subscribe. Stay safe, wash your hands and keep baking. Bye guys.